Right, approximately 11.30, uh, CFD received a call of uh, people being trapped. And, uh, why are you tapping down? And approximately, uh, and so uh, with people being trapped, a sealer box response was initiated along with the EMS Plan 1. Uh, upon arrival four minutes later, crews found, uh, initiated a aggressive interior attack and primary search and during that search a one year a two-year-old male was found critically burned which unfortunately was pronounced at Roseland Hospital. Um, we also transported one female yellow to Roseland and um, this is a time of year where we emphasize that uh, smoke detectors you have working smoke detectors in your home. No, we don't have an, uh, we haven't identified the child. Is there any indication of what may have started the fire? Uh, it's under investigation. The mother, where is she at? Um, the mother was transported to uh, Rosen yeah. Hospital. Mm -hmm. And what is her condition? Any... Uh, she was yellow. She was, she was transported yellow. She had uh, burns to her feet. And she's stable. Uh, it was a warm room fire. What lesson is there to be learned from this, sir? Uh, to have working smoke detectors in your home. It seems like you guys say that year after year and this. What is, what is the problem? Yeah, well, uh, unfortunately, that's one of the things that uh, people don't think it, they don't take it seriously. They don't take it seriously. So, you know, some people learn, live and learn, and have working smoke detectors and others don't. Were there any other injuries inside of the home? Uh, no, just the two that we had transported. There were other victims, but they were uh, signed documented refusals. What does that mean? Documented refusal means that they uh, refuse uh, medical service. So how many people were inside of the home total? Uh, three females and one child. Um, just, that's why we emphasize to have working smoke detectors in your home. Um, they save lives. You know, it's, it's getting old that we have to keep repeating the same message, but they do save lives. They give you that early warning, and, um, it helps. For those who may not can afford a smoke detector, you guys talk to them? Like, where can they go to? Uh, they, well, we give them out at the firehouse. Uh, we have, um... We, and we'll also be doing a canvassing, you know, in the neighborhood to give away working smoke detectors. And if they need somebody to come out and install them, if, if they're elderly or whatever, we have people who uh, uh, will come out and uh, install them for them. How tough was this, uh, just, to, just, just emotionally for you guys having to see a child in this situation? I mean, what is it? How does that take a toll on you? Uh, it, it's emotionally draining. It's draining. You know, uh, we got a couple of guys that we, we're going to have uh, the EAP to come and offer their assistance to them to see if they need um, help or someone to talk to. Because it is, it, it's, it's emotionally draining and it's uh, difficult, especially when it's a child. Especially when it's a child. So close to the holidays, too. Yes, exactly.